Farm Basics is brought to you by the Liberty Link Trait and Liberty Herbicide from Bayer. The most reliable weed management solution, Liberty Link and Liberty Herbicide are the link to efficient row crop production and sustainable weed management. During our Farm Basics time today, Darren and I are going to talk a little about some of these new emission standards, Darren. So I don't get it. I mean, what's going out of the tractor anymore for emissions is pretty much cleaner than the air that's even coming in, isn't it? Well, you know, this is one of the things that we as farmers fight. We're less than 1% of the population of our country, and so we're generally considered to be the bad guys. You know, oh, you've got all these diesel engines running around, you know, you've got gas coming out the back end of a cow, you know, we're all concerned about these things. Well, I can't control what comes out the back end of a cow, but I certainly can control what comes out of my engine. So there are new diesel engines, and over the last few years, we've had to meet even stricter emission standards, and uh, we're moving to the next one coming up here in 2014. Oh. We're talking about Tier 4A. Yeah, okay, so just talking about these new emission standards that are going to come out, kind of put it in layman's terms, how would you describe this thing? What are we trying to protect against? What do we want less of? Well, basically? layman's terms is perfect for me, Brand, because I am no engineer. But, you know, when you look at a diesel engine and you're trying to tune it, you're going to have one of two things happen. Either you try to tune it so you have less nitrous oxide emissions, but when you do that, you're going to have more particulate matter. Or you can go the other way and say, you know, particulate matter is what I want to reduce, but then you end up with more nitrous oxide. So you get one or the other. Now, of course, what our government demands is we want less of both. So they're only asking for the impossible, Brian. It's really not that hard. <laughs> okay, so how are you going to do that? How is an equipment company going to make that happen with their new diesel engines? Well, there are a couple of different concepts on the market. One concept is, you know what? Let's work on this nitrous oxide, and then we'll deal with the particulate matter by adding a filter to the end of this engine. Now, when you're going to do that, what happens is they'll actually reduce the nitrous oxide, but then because they've got so much more particulate matter, some would call it soot, but I'd say, you know, you just didn't do a good enough job burning the fuel. So they'll run that back through the combustion process and have to do it again. And then they're going to filter that out with a particulate filter for anything that got through. And then they're going to use fuel to burn that off. Now, this sounds very uh, inefficient to me. And actually, you end up having to change your oil more often. You end up burning more fuel than you normally would. I mean, there's a lot of negatives by using the EGR system. What we're using on our farm when we're getting Tier 4 engines, we like the SCR system, the Selective Catalytic Reduction. That's a big word for me to say. And in that process, what we're trying to do is we're looking at that particulate matter as, wow, that's fuel. Let's be more efficient let's burn that down. So then we're going to have more nitrous oxide in the emissions, which isn't a good thing either. So what we'll do then is after the whole engine process, then we're going to add what we call diesel exhaust fluid or basically liquid urea in a separate process. So we can keep our engine temperature down where we want it to be. We can be more efficient on our fuel because we're going to burn up that particulate matter and use it. Uh, we're actually seeing fuel savings of five or even 10%. But then this DEF, guys say, oh man, I've got to add diesel exhaust fluid. Hey, that's no big deal. That's the easiest thing in the world to do. And it's not like we're using all kinds of that anyway. And then we're going to be able to handle that nitrous oxide. And what we end up letting go from our engine is nitrogen and pure water. Well, you think of our atmosphere, it's already over 70% nitrogen. What better system can we have than that? Okay, but the concerns I hear from farmers are, for example, just yesterday I had a farmer who said, hey, I'm thinking of buying a new truck, but you know what I'm going to do is buy it with an old engine so I don't have to worry about these emission standards because, he said, I'm worried about cost with these new engines and uh, how that's going to affect pricing of everything from tractors to combines, anything oh, that's got an now, engine, it's pricing and fuel efficiency because he didn't think that it was going to be as fuel efficient. Now, you had to use that four-letter word in farming that just we don't like to hear, and that word is cost. And when you think about, oh, what's it going to cost? No, look at it differently. How much am I going to have to invest for this new engine? If I'm going to save fuel every time I'm running and I'm going to get more power, that's a pretty good deal for me. So I have to look at what the benefit is of going to the new engine, and then I have to think in the big picture. You know, we as farmers, as I mentioned before, we're less than 1% of the population. We need to do things right, or we're going to get even more regulation on our farm. Now, here's something we can control. We can change what the emissions are. It was estimated by the government that 10% of the nitrous oxide emissions in our country are due to our equipment on the farm. I think that number is ridiculously yeah. high. I don't agree with it at all. 
but even so, that's the way other people are looking at our farms. And if we have an option to clean that up and we can do a better job with these engines on our farm, you know, using less fuel and having more power, you know, it's not such a bad thing. It is a good point. And I guess the main thing and the reason why we're talking about this today is all these changes are coming in the future. We just want you to be aware of what they are and research them a little bit with your equipment dealer before you make snap judgments saying, well, it's just going to cost a whole bunch more and I'm not going to be as efficient. Well, you know what, Brian, you may need to be more efficient to control our weed of the week. We'll show you how to control this tough weed coming up later in the show.